welcome back to my channel. I know the setup looks different than my usual, but I wanted to quickly do this and not just not put too much thought into it and just quickly pull up my phone and show you guys my new planner. Um, I did go back to a physical planner. Um, I was missing it. I was missing the pen and paper and my stickers. You guys know if you follow my channel, you know, I was um, planning in a physical planner for years like for a very very long time but i started incorporating stickers maybe a year ago or so um but i am back with my physical planner i feel like when i have my physical planner i am more strict on my budget it it sounds weird but maybe because i'm physically writing down what i'm spending with the pen and paper i don't know what it is but i found myself in the past sticking to a budget better than when i plan it on my ipad so I don't know, it's weird, maybe I'm weird, I don't know. But let's continue and let me show you guys the planner. So this is the Erin Condren, Con, Condren, yeah, seven by nine planner. The rings are like a silver and this cover is absolutely beautiful. I did, um, you could customize your planners on there, which first of all, this is my first ever Erin Condren. I'm a happy planner girl. I've been happy planner girl for years and years and years since I was in college, so very long time. And I'm like, I've always wanted Erin Condren, but I've never had the patience to just wait for them to ship to me and just order them. I don't know what it is, but I'm like, no, I really want them. They were on sale, 50% off, because this is the one that starts in January. So I'm like, let me just try it out. I only paid $22. I got free shipping. And I was like, perfect. And it did take a little bit to get to me, um, but I was patient. And yeah, so I got a little customization, budget with Laura, which I love. And you open it, it has like a little spot here. I guess you can write on it with like a dry erase marker. Um, pretty cute. And then a little, oh, I got the monthly planner. It comes with, oh, you know, I forgot to show you the front page behind this page. So this little cute thing but okay um so the monthly i just did like my paydays but this one i want to show you guys so it comes with like these little blocks for 12 um blocks for the month and what i'm doing with them is writing down which i was doing this on my ipad so i just got that info that i put on there and put it on here so January, February, all these months, I'm putting in my income, my expenses, my savings, and how much I'm putting into debt. So yeah, I'm excited about that. So this is what I wanted to show you guys um, that I forgot to mention. Let me show you here in January. So January, um, and I did get the modern simple layout. They were out of the Bloom one, I think it's called the Bloom, which I didn't care because I'm gonna put stickers over this anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, so the monthly planner has just the monthly layout and then it has one page here with like a little January kind of throw your thoughts on here page. And then it comes with 10 of these lined papers. So it's pretty cool. It's perfect for what I'm going to be using it for. And I was going to set it up with you guys on camera with my stickers and I honestly forgot and I was already too deep into it to stop. <laughs> so that's why I'm making this video now. And next month, I will make a video of me setting up my planner with, with you guys. So let's go to May. I was going to say March. All right, you guys. So this is my monthly spread. I love it. Um, I get I get my pl my stickers from M L M L M L stickers. I'm sorry, I am like butchering things. Um, but these um, Bill Do stickers are from, I'm gonna leave her down below. She actually sent me these about a year ago. Um, but I do get all my stickers from the LMN shop and I've been getting, I've been purchasing from her for a long time. Her quality is really, really great. So my spread with my Bill Do stickers. Here I have my budget. So this is, the budget that um, I've been doing and I am trying to pay off my credit cards you guys I have gotten myself with some credit card debt which I am not proud of I'm actually really upset at myself about and I'm not gonna blame it on not paper budgeting but 
when I was paper budgeting, I was a lot more strict and I didn't overspend, but <laughs> I'm not going to blame it on not paper budgeting. That's kind of stupid, but I don't know. I just, maybe it's me. Maybe I need to be writing things down. So I'm going back to the basics. All right, you guys. So my setup over here, um, I put a little goals, a little key sticker. And here are my spreads. So this is my weekly check-in. And I did mess this up right here. Don't mind that. Um, but I will be weekly checking in with you guys starting on the 15th, which is on a Monday. Um, next Monday. This week, I'm just going to obviously write it down. But I'm not going to film it because, honestly, I don't think I'm going to be spending much. And I'm trying to just get back into it. And by the way, you guys, I'm sorry for not posting my last two pages of april what i had left over in my paychecks i had to pay something with that money so i didn't cash off any of it so there's nothing for me to film but we're back at it with me and we're gonna make it a better month spending wise um so this is the budget that i did this is what i'm budgeting for for next week these are my transaction logs yeah yeah i <laughs> I'm so embarrassed, but you know what, you guys? I had this planned. I knew I was going to spend this much money just in the first week of May because my boyfriend's birthday was the 2nd of May. And then after that, it was just this and then that and then this and then that. It was just so much going on just in this past week that I was spending money on. As you can tell, it's literally taking up the whole page. And we're only on the first week. Honestly, I'm really embarrassed by it, but me posting this would just hold, hold myself accountable and we're just going to run through it, water under the bridge, and we're just going to move on. I'm not going to discuss every single one. If you want to pause and read, go ahead. So here we have my first paycheck budget. Um, and this is, I put it for bi week. I do get paid bi weekly, but I split up my paychecks. So what I did was um, I just did the one and two paychecks so i don't have to buy the three and four i'm like mm, let me not do that let me just do this and then my bills stay the same anyway so just put in what i'm going to spend for this and seeking funds and then just split it as you can tell here so that i don't have to spend money money on an extra one of these which they're like three dollars each um which is not bad but if i can just save the money and just do this i'm gonna just do that so and it worked out, so I guess we'll see how this goes with doing it this way. But so I have week one, week two for my sinking funds and what I'm putting in them and stuff like that. So I think it worked out just fine. And then this is for the second week, which I haven't set it up yet because I haven't done the numbers for that budget. And then lastly, we have my sinking funds page, which I have all my sinking funds and the starting and ending balance and yeah and then we have like a leftover leftover two pages which is great and this when i already set up my june budget i haven't ordered my stickers yet for june but i just set up the budget or the um bill due stickers um but you guys i let me show you i just discovered this like after i finished everything so it came with um sorry the planner came with stickers back here. So they, they look like just like expense stickers type of stuff, which I'm gonna use these as like my bill due stickers when mine run out. When the ones I have um, run out, I'm gonna use these. And I was gonna use them today, but I was like, no. So I just, I ripped it off and I put it in this folder, which is so freaking cool. Like, look how cute this is. It's like a double-sided folder. So I'm gonna just put my um, monthly stickers in here if I don't set, like set them. If I buy them like ahead in advance or whatever, it could be stick them back here. And then it has that other little dry erase part here, and then the back of the book. You guys, I'm in love with this. Like I literally just have it sitting at my table right here because I just want to keep looking at it and I love it. Um, but yeah you guys if you want to try Erin Condren I, I recommend it and if you want to like buy one of those planners I have out now it's 50% off so just you know whatever you want to do but it's on sale so I'm gonna start saving up 
in the month of June for next year's planner, which these originally are about $42 and then with shipping probably like $50 for these. So I'm going to start saving up for that for next year. But there you guys have it. This is my new planner. Stay tuned for weekly check-ins, um, monthly setups, like how I used to do them. So get excited because I am excited. So I will see you guys in my next video. Oh, one more thing. I didn't realize this, but these covers, you can actually remove them. Like, see like, like the um, happy planners, you could just remove the, the pages and put them back. You can do that for these covers, not the pages. I don't think so which doesn't look like it, <laughs> but the covers you can, which is cool. But that is it, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please give me a huge thumbs up and stay tuned for my first paycheck of May cash stuffing. And I will see you guys then. Bye, guys.